And so we are in the third part of relationships and we're going to walk uh, we're going to talk about let's work together what that means is um, 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 you know how do we thrive as a, as a couple these are the five things that you need to look out for that number one both of you have the same spiritual standing you must have the same if you are in the Christian setup you must have the same biblical view if you are a Muslim then I, I, I would assume the same. You must have the same uh, uh, standing uh, uh, in terms of in terms of your spiritual uh, uh, spiritual outlook. The second thing that you must have uh, as a couple, or you must look out for, is a godly character as opposed to a good character. A godly character is driven by the Holy Spirit, whereas a good character is driven by our personal will to do things. And how many of you know that many times our personal will can fail, can fail. There are many times, as you can see me, there are many times I have tried to go to the gym, you know, so that I can work on my weight. But my personal will sometimes is not strong enough. KFC <laughs> uh, is more stronger than my personal will to refrain from fast food. The number three thing is that is emotional stability and what should concern you and, and especially as you begin to look at emotional stability is that do they have rapid mood change? Do they change drastically? If they do and you are uh, you, you know you find yourself in such a relationship you need to be careful. Uh, do, they, are, do they are they hypersensitive? Um, anything small can trigger them into an array of emotions. You need to look out for some of these things so that as you get into a relationship, you get into a healthy uh, uh, relationship uh, as, as, as you grow into it. Unpredictable. This person is unpredictable. They are incon inconsistent. They are inconsistent with their moods. They are inconsistent with their personality. The fourth thing that must be there uh, or you need to look out for in, uh, as, as you get yourself into a couple is that this person must, must have financial discipline. This is a key one. If you get into a relationship with someone who does not have uh, 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 financial discipline, that person is most likely than not going to plunge you into trouble. They're going to cause you to have uh, loans or they're going to uh, uh, take you to Shylocks and things like that. And, 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 and you probably find yourself in trouble in days to come. So that person must display, must have financial discipline. And the last thing is that that person must be one who honors their parents. They may not necessarily agree with them because of things that have happened in the past, but that person must honor them regardless of who and what they are. And so I want to say those five things are very important things to look out for as you get into a relationship. The question that has been asked many times is that how do we define relationship? Maybe I've been going out with this girl and I haven't said anything yet. Uh, that does not in itself, it doesn't have a time span because men take a little longer to make a decision than women do. By the time you're taking a woman for, uh, or a woman is agreeing to go for a date, there's what she has thought about you and they are, if she agrees to go with you for a date, there's some element of her agreeing to this that is happening.